Hi there, I'm Jutha Pon Sangwan Lek. I'm a postdoc at the Department of Protein Evolution. Today, I'm going to introduce you how we purify a protein and set it up for crystallization. So first, we begin with creating a new construct. And for this, we usually order synthetic genes and then we design which tag should be used. Diffusion tags are useful because they improve the protein stability and can be used as pay in the purification process. We test the expression level and the solubility of the protein at a small scale first. Later, we check them on the SDS gel and choose the best condition for large scale expression and further purification. Our protein has an N-terminal his tag, so we use Nikon column for the purification. We use this column because when the cell light set passes it over, the histidine tag bind to the nickel in the column, while the untagged components of the cell light set part unimpeded. In the next step, we creep out the his tag and run the protein to the column again, and this time your creep protein will be in the flow through. In addition to a purification process in a nickel column, there are many other kinds of columns that can be used for different purposes. After the purification process, we want to know the quality of the protein. Therefore, we estimate the secondary structure and the stability of the proteins by CD spectroscopy. And once we have the proteins ready, we use the pipetting robot Honeybee to set up the protein for crystallization. When we get the crystal, we can optimize the condition further through the crystal screen optimizer dragon fine. Later, we freeze the crystal and send them to the synchrotron where we conduct X-ray diffraction experiment and solve their structure. Alternatively, we can also prepare the isotope level sample to solve the protein structure by a nuclear magnetic resonance. 